you're gonna need a bigger boat. Today we're talking about the Jaws films. This is a series of films that started in 1975, and the first one was directed by Steven Spielberg. The first film is also the film that put Steven Spielberg on the map. Not his first film, but his first film that made him a household name. So without further ado, I figured let's get started. Coming in at number four is Jaws 3. Released in 1983, Jaws 3 is just a boring film. Essentially, it's about a shark getting loose in a water park. Sounds kind of fun, but the film is just a dud. The only upside to the film, I say, is Lou Gossett Jr. as the guy who runs the park. You do have Dennis Quaid as playing an older Michael Brody, but ultimately this is a dull and boring film with bad effects and terrible pacing. Not one I recommend. Coming in at number three is 1987's schlock auteur Jaws the Revenge. Jaws the Revenge is not a good film, but it is so bad it's kind of good. A guilty pleasure in the best sense of the word. It stars Michael Caine as a pilot this time around, and he's dating Brody's wife. And before anyone questions that, Brody's dead in this picture, so it doesn't really matter. But this film sucks anyway, so who cares? Ultimately, a really dumb premise about the shark following the Brodies from Amity all the way to the Bahamas. Just a silly movie all around, with bad special effects and bad acting and bad performances. But unlike Jaws 3, it's entertaining. It's terrible, but it's a fun guilty pleasure movie. Which leads us to number two, and the first good movie on this list, Jaws 2. I actually like Jaws 2. It's not a bad film, and it does have its flaws, but I think it's a decent follow-up to the original. Not a great one, obviously, but a decent one. This film follows Brody, once again, who is comes into contact with another killer shark, and he must actually sail the high seas again to save his kid, both his kids, and a group of teenagers who are being hunted down by the shark. A pretty interesting premise, and I really do like the shark this time around, whereas Jaws 3 had a really huge shark that was just kind of clunky and stupid looking, and Jaws 4, well, the less said about that shark, the better. Jaws 2 shark is unique in the fact that it has a burnt face. Early in the film, it gets burnt up, and it has this nasty, scarred-up-looking face. It's a really t intimidating-looking shark, I'll tell you that much. And I really do like the premise of him having to hunt this shark again. I do wish Richard Dreyfuss could have came back as Hooper, and there's even a scene where he calls Hooper up, or tries to, but unfortunately he's doing the oceanographic exploration that he mentioned in the first film. So we don't get Richard Dreyfuss this time around. But we do get Roy Scheider again playing Brody and doing a damn good job. And this time we even see Brody struggling with being ridiculed for believing there's another shark. People think he's crazy. And him struggling with alcoholism and other things, other vices, in his attempt to basically stay sane in the face of this dangerous predator who is attacking Amity once again. This is an interesting sequel and one that I do enjoy. And it's the only good sequel in this franchise. 1978's Jaws 2. A good film, just not one that comes nearly nearly to the degree of praise the first film. But still decent. If you like Jaws 1, I do recommend Jaws 2. Which leads us to number 1. 1975 Spielberg directed Jaws. This is an awesome movie. It has great special effects, amazing acting, amazing directing by Steven Spielberg, and an overall great performance. This film sees a shark attacking this small, fictitious town of Amity Island, which, and it also shows um, how the people of the town react to that, and how they have to plan to take out the shark. It stars Roy Scheider as Chief Brody, and a New Yorker who's recently moved to Amity just like a year before in an attempt to get away from the busy city life. And now his first year being a chief, he has to hunt down a shark. He hires Quint, played by Robert Shaw, a badass fisherman who can pretty much kill any shark to help him in, in his endeavor. And he also hires, or really gets the help of Hooper, played by Robert, uh, played by, um, Sorry, not Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, to, who is a scientist to help them also hunt the shark. It's a damn good movie that's part horror, part thriller, part adventure. 
and all fun. It's a top-notch, balls-to-the-wall thriller action movie with horror elements thrown in. It's my absolute favorite Steven Spielberg film, the best shark movie ever made, and it will never be topped. And I firmly believe that. I think when when this globe stops spinning and the sun burns out, they will never have topped Jaws as far as shark movies go. And you can quote my ass on that. This is a great film. It is a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen Jaws, just watch it. No matter how old you are, no matter what your background is, religion, ethnicity, it doesn't matter. You're going to like Jaws. It's a fantastic film. And one that's easily accessible. It's been released in 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, VHS, Laserdisc, you name it. Look at Steven Spielberg there. Look at his face. Jaws. You gotta, you gotta check it out. Pure, amazing filmmaking. If there ever was, if there ever was that, Jaws is everything that encompasses that. Well, that's my list, and Jaws actually saw success outside of the movies as well, and they even released video games. This game here, Jaws, which is really based on the fourth movie, but it's just called Jaws, was released in the late '80s and by LJN. Anyone that watches the Angry Video Game Nerd will know that this is a notorious game, and that that is a notorious company. Look at LJN's logo there. Ugh. But I actually do rather enjoy this game. It's one of the few decent LJN games. It's a little repetitive, and the shark is, you know, pretty easy to take down. You can basically beat this game in all of 20 minutes, but it's a fun little NES game, and one that I do enjoy. There was also another Jaws game on Xbox, PS2, and I think PC as well, called Jaws Unleashed. And whereas the first Jaws game, you had to hunt Jaws, this one, you are Jaws. That's such a freaking awesome premise. It's a gory, fun, enjoyable game. And if you do actually have a PS2 or Xbox, original Xbox, I do recommend playing this game. Although I'd say get the PS2 version because the original Xbox is notorious for crapping out and just stopping working. But still, a great game through and through. And a really fun time. There's also a Jaws game on the Wii, but it's basically like a cleaned up rated T version of this. I don't recommend that one. I have seen footage of it. It's this, it's this but watered down. But there's also a newer shark game called Maneater, which is essentially just Jaws Unleashed 2. It's just Jaws by another name, and I do recommend that one. All in all, a great franchise that will stand the test of time. And hopefully one day we might get another Jaws film. It'd be, I'd like to see a film about Brody's grandkids, or maybe a much older Michael having to go up against a shark again. It could be neat. And hell, Richard Dreyfus is still alive, so I say strike while the iron's hot. Regardless, though, even if we've never seen another Jaws film, this is still a solid, solid motion picture, and one that I love. And like I said, it'd be cool to see a Jaws sequel that ignores all the other movies, except for the first one. But I guess we'll see. Universal? Make it happen. That's my list. Thanks for watching, and peace out.